sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. George Orwell could not predict where Microsoft's taking Windows. And oh my goodness, this was just a present sent in my time feed today. Microsoft, whoo boy. All right, well, for you Windows users out there, I'm sorry, you're going to have to buckle up, but this is something you should know about because, yeah, we got some dystopian future ahead of us. Here we go. Microsoft's groundbreaking new AI-powered tool that can search and recall anything you've seen or done on your PC like a personal historian. Ooh, boy, call me a cynic, but I don't know if I trust Microsoft recording every single thing I do in picture form on my PC. So this new tool is called Recall for Copilot Plus PC. So if you see a Copilot Plus PC, uh, it can have this ability. And it has like a nice little timeline. And it can recall pretty much anything, whether it's live meetings, uh, websites you visited. <laughs> I can't go wrong, right? Uh, documents. Let's say you have a spreadsheet with a whole bunch of passwords on it. It can recall that. I mean, there's just so many good applications for this recall. Oh, oh, Microsoft. As a matter of fact, everything you do on the PC appears on an explorable timeline you can scroll through. You can search live meetings, videos, thanks to live captions, which transcribes and translates speech. So if you do have multi people, I'm like, that's kind of cool. OK, now the good news, you can breathe a sigh of relief here. It won't work on every Windows 11 PC. You have to buy Copilot Plus PCs powered by Qualcomm's new Elite uh, Snapdragon uh, chips. So that's uh, at least something. It's not like right here, right now, just added like a co-pilot button in your start menu. Uh, that's uh, down the road here, but this is kind of what it looks like. The other thing is it says it's going to store most of this locally or all of it locally, but it requires 50 gigabytes of space available just to dedicate to the future, which is kind of interesting. We'll see, which it, it apparently is, stores a, about three months of snapshots and you can increase and decrease the storage allocation to recall. Now, the big thing here is the potential for abuse, obviously, is what I'm alluding to. It says the index remains locally and private on the device, but Microsoft has a terrible track record of any kind of uh, privacy. It's just not in their cards, you know. Telemetry itself is can't even be disabled on Windows. You can minimize telemetry, doing a variety of different things. I have my utility to do that, but this is something completely different. Imagine all this being stored and then hackers getting uh, into your device. The very first thing they would do is go to recall and be able to recall a lot of private information, which I already alluded to. That's going to be a problematic. So a huge security risk is what this is. And then there's the second issue is, do you really trust Microsoft? Because what's keeping them from bundling up some of these screenshots and then shooting it back to Microsoft during one of their telemetry sessions? Because the whole reason why I started my toolbox back in Windows 10 was I was sitting there and all of a sudden my, I saw my PC go into work and I was like, I'm not doing anything. And then I was like, oh, it's telemetry. And they're sending a huge package up to Microsoft. And I was like, okay. So the uh, the temptation for Microsoft to just grab or maybe even filter by keyword any pertinent information they want from you is there. The, the ability is there. And what's to keep them from actually doing that? Uh, so it's interesting. There's a few caveats here at the end. Recall won't take snapshots of in private web browsing sessions. That's probably a good thing. And in Microsoft Edge, but maybe if you don't use Edge, you have to use Edge to get the private feature. Maybe I don't know what happens if you use Brave or Chrome or whatever. Uh, it'll be interesting. And DRM protected content. So it's excluding those. It'd be interesting to see how that works. It also doesn't perform content moderation and won't actively hide sensitive information like passwords and financial account numbers. So if you're looking at your bank statement, those types of things, it will be in your recall history, which again is quite problematic. Uh, I don't know. 
I, I look at this and I, I read a couple articles over it. And then I was like, oh, geez, it just is a bit rough. But I want to show you the clip from Twitter real fast, just so you get a better understanding of seeing it in real life. Because when I saw this, I was just like, ah. How do we introduce memory, right? Photographing memory into what you do on the PC. And now we have it. So it's called recall. It's not keyword search, right? It's semantic search over all your history. And it's not just about any document. We can recreate moments from the past, essentially. Here's how it works. Windows constantly takes screenshots of what's on your screen, then uses a generative AI model right on the device, along with the NPU, to process all that data and make it searchable, even photos. I got to try it out. I searched brown leather bag. It came up in visual search. There's no place on this page that it says brown leather bag. It just knows because it sees. There's a lot of potential to be abused here and very little upside. Like I, I look at this and I'm like, okay, but do you really want your computer remembering every single thing you do in the past? I mean, there's plenty of searches and things. I, I'm thinking you, you're going to just get bombarded. Even AI is going to get bombarded with memory. And let's say I was looking up a, an issue or something like that to solve on my PC. Well, a lot of times I'll, I'll find 10 different things that are wrong and then one thing that is right. So having AI pick the right thing for me to look at that I looked at in the past I just don't, I don't think it can do that. A lot of times it's just going to give you a bunch of junk information. So uh, it'll be interesting to see it in action, but man, I don't know. And taking constant screenshots and filling up my drive with just tons of screenshots, also not very attractive. He's this brown leather bag. There could be this reaction from some people that this is pretty creepy. Microsoft is taking screenshots of everything I do. Yeah, I mean, that's why that it can only do it on the edge, right? So this is like, you know, you, can't, you have to put two things together. This is my computer. This is my recall. Uh, and it's all being done locally. Ah, uh, so, yeah, when I see that and I look at it's... It's the hesitation in his voice when he's like, well, see, it's done on the edge. <laughs> I don't want to call him a liar, but I don't know. Uh, it, it, a lot of it, it just mm, so much could go wrong here. So we're going to have to wait and see, obviously, if this does make it to the main consumer. And I see it on like a VM or something I load up with my my version of Windows. Uh, I'll definitely be stripping it out and disabling it. Uh, which shouldn't be that big of an issue. I mean, obviously, something that's taking tons of screenshots and filling up a drive, very easy to track. Uh, so I don't have any issue with actually stripping this out. I just want to make Windows users aware of what Microsoft is attempting to do to your PC or where they think the future of PCs are. Because when I see that, unlocking the future of PCs, all this is just marketing jargon that is not not good like yeah okay this ai power tool even take the absolute best case scenario here and i still think it's a, just an awful idea and i you know i i love the bag on microsoft but i'll give them some wins when they have them but this is not it this is something that is just very very bad it's going to be exploitable and it's just not something that should be on a pc in in at all i i just so many bad things can come from it. I, I'm done. I'm done. I, I'm just speechless. I was just like, let me just make a video real fast showing people recall. And whew, let me know your thoughts down below because I'm just at a loss for words. I think this is crazy. And if you're not looking at Macs or looking at Linux, seriously, there's going to come a time where this is your future. And... Even with tools and other stuff, I will continue to try and make them better and make Windows usable. But the future is bleak. <laughs> I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments because huh, I'm done.